Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. In today's tutorial, I'd like to show you a couple of the tips and tricks I use for re-sticking my Brother Scan and Cut mats. Now listen to the sound. That is the sound of a sticky mat. You're probably not used to hearing that sound when you, with your Brother Scan and Cut mats. Well, I'm gonna show you how I use this nice two-way glue pen as my main method of re-sticking my mats and another hack that I have that I've been reluctant to show you. So stick around till the end and I'll show you that hack. All right, so here is a mat. I'm gonna move my camera that I have not restuck yet. I'm in my kitchen. Whoops. Okay, hey, not, not sticky. And what I do to restick my mat is I use this two-way glue that works as regular glue when it's blue. Okay, let me just put some on to show you. So if you were just to put some on a, and something that you're crafting with and it's blue, it works as glue and you can use it for crafting and there's a nice little sponge applicator. But when it dries, it's clear and it's tacky. Okay, so let me just show you my little trick for this. So the first thing I do is I just um, put some water on my mat. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a little couple of drops of water, not too much, just I'm using an eyedropper. So just splash a little water on your mat because you wanna sort of mix that with the glue so it's not such a thick coating. And then I'm gonna just put a, some lines of this. You could cover your entire mat but I found that does not work very well. So don't cover every single space of your mat because I'm gonna show you how I would infuse this glue into the little nooks and crannies. Hey, nooks and crannies. That's like the Thomas's English muffins. All right, so there you go. So I have a couple drops of water and maybe, you know, let's say 10 lines of this two-way glue applied with a sponge. Now I've been trying this for years, but before I tried the one with the sponge, I used to try this, you know, two-way glue and I could never get it out. It has a fine tip applicator, you know, and so I had to cut it open to get the glue out. So it's best to use the jumbo size. Okay, so before it dries, just take your fingers and rub it. Now make sure always that you never cover up these lines. I mean, these registration marks, okay? But you wanna get close to the edge because that's the part of your paper you really want to stick, your cardstock. Okay, so let's, let's just keep on rubbing. And it's not gonna dry yet. It's not gonna dry for like a couple hours and then it'll be clear, even if you wave it around. So you just want a light coloring, a light coating, I mean, of this sticky two-way glue. Okay, so pretty good. I haven't covered any registration marks and I'm, I'm only covering this inside okay so we're already on our way to stickiness let's move on now this was a standard tack mat and now I'm going to do a low tack mat and it, to my in my opinion they're all low tack mats as you know I'm not a brother representative but I I love 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 their machine okay I love the brother scan and cut as you know I have loads of tutorials on this and so you know, it's for me, you just gotta do what you gotta do to get it to be stick, but I really wish, let's just, I'm just trying to get some glue out. I really wish they'd make stickier mats because they're all kind of low tech, you know, when you first get them. So I'll add a couple more drops to that one. I need to go reach over and splash some water on because my, my eyedropper, my eyedropper accidentally spilled out. So that's it, so I'm just rubbing some glue on my mat. I'm just doing it again. I was just showing you that you could do it with the low tech mat, the regular mat, it doesn't matter. And if you've seen my links, you're probably wondering how I get the cheaper mats. Well, on Amazon, if you go to the, the sewing section and you buy your mats, you can get the mats cheaper, like almost half price compared to the arts and crafts section. And they work just the same. So I have so many different kinds of mats, but they all work with the Brother Scan and Cut and I link to those in this video. Okay, so how did I get this far? How did I get my mat sort of clean in the first place? Enough to restick them. Well, I recommend just using a baby wipe, but a good brand, not one that has a lot of lint on it. Just use a good brand of baby wipe and you can like wipe them off. Or you can wash them with Dawn dishwashing liquid and some soap and water and a sponge and you'll get them cleaned off. Okay, so I've already been resticking mats. I just wanna tell you some other things and then I'm gonna tell you my hack. 
I, I, I was, this last summer I was going to make a video called In Search of the Eternal Stick. And I went out and bought all kinds of sprays and I tried all kinds of stencil sprays. And they work to some degree. What I did is I covered my mats with tape. I covered all this, you know, the registration marks. And then I sprayed them with stencil spray. And it worked pretty good. I mean, see, the mat, it's pretty sticky, as you can see. See, way more sticky. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull that off and just show you how sticky. Listen to that. Okay, so stencil sprays do work. And you, but you just have to go outside and you have to um, tape up your whole mat, spray it on, and then peel this off and let it dry. And I'm just using painter's tape. So that's okay, and that's a great way of doing it. And when I say stencil spray, they're just, you can use even sewing spray. It's just called low tech, uh, you know, it's, it's called temporary bond or different sprays. I'll link them in the description of the different sprays I tried, but to varying degrees of success. But here's a hack that I just absolutely had a great deal of success with. I've been reluctant to show you because you, you gotta do a little bit of work to get there. And um, by the way, my, one of my friends, Pat, also uses this hack. And so what I did is I took a Cricut mat okay from the Cricut machine and I have a lot of the Cricut mats because I have Cricut machines also and first I tried to stick it on here but then what happened is I was blocking the registration mark so that didn't work so then I just cut it I just cut the cut it as a 12 by 12 mat you can see this okay and I had varying degrees of success because I couldn't get this to stay on very well the Cricut mat onto the brother mat so what I did is I got this stuff called stick it you've seen me use these sticker sheets before and I just put like, the, I covered the back of this Cricut mat with full sheets of sticker sheets, okay? So there are two-way sticker sheets. So you peel them off, you put it on the back of your mat, then you stick your mat, okay? So this, this works great. So the only problem with this is it's too sticky. So you can't use it for everything. If you use it with like cardstock, your Cricut mat, look, I mean, look how sticky. You can hear how sticky it is. Then what happens is you peel off your, your paper and it curls up. So that's not good. So you can use it on really like strong or thicker paper, paper that won't curl when you have to scrape it off with your spatula. Okay, so that's my little, that's my little hack. And you know, I hope you, I hope you, if you have extra Cricut mats, you you might give that a try. But remember, only do it with a mat that it's gone on its last leg. Okay, so you've tried to restick it several times. It's scratched. Maybe it's maybe it's cut through. Maybe you cut it through on the bottom. Then sacrifice your mat. Okay, don't do this till it's at the end of its life. I have about 15 mats, so it was easy for me to just get one to restick with my, you know, Cricut. There's no problem because I had extras. Okay, none of these are recommended by the Brother Company. Of course, they want us to buy new mats. So I'll just show you in the links to the description how to get cheaper mats, you know, through the different part of the website on Amazon, and then how to how to get this two-way glue that I'm using, and etc. And how to get these sticker sheets just in case you want to try some of these things yourself. Okay, but these are, we have to do what we got to do. And I'm going to keep it real with my viewers. And that is how I restick my brother's scan and cut mats. Thank you for watching. This is the Papered Chef.